is such a fun theme and you're probably a really fun person. Woo stands for winning others over. It is a influencing strength. It is how you move people into action. Um, it's probably how you move yourself into action as well. We call it winning others over because, um, well, Gallup talks about it almost like it's a politician. And I don't want that to throw you if you have a negative view of politicians. Really, when we think about politicians, at least what brought them into politics in the first place is that they wanted to represent a group of people. They wanted to um, represent their constituency and they needed to go out to that constituency and win them over to say, I can be that leader. I can be the person that represents you. And by doing so, I can do something great and I can do something great for you when you can't do it for yourself. That's the real superhero version of a politician, right? We need somebody who can go out there with that charisma and win other people over to allow great things to happen for their constituency. So winning others over or having woo is a wonderful influencing strength. You might be an extrovert. You might be in sales or really good at sales because you have this ability to kind of swoop into the Christmas party bebop all over the room, welcome everybody. And maybe you only go so deep, but you are able to touch everybody in that room. I'm a relator. It's a complete opposite or contrast to woo. So when I'm going to that Christmas party, I'm going to find that one person that I know and go into the corner and dive really deep with them all evening long. Before I understood strengths, I really barrier labeled woos, thinking, why would you go and just talk with everyone but not go deep with anyone? And I'm sure the woos were looking at me in the corner going, you're so clickish. Why don't you come out of the corner? It's not a party if you're going to be in the corner all night, right? And that's the power of strengths is being able to know yourself, but to also respect and appreciate the other strengths around you. A good Christmas party needs both of those people, right? So a woo has the ability to bring life to the environment. Um, you probably are the one that's talking at the dinner table or at the dinner party. And so the superhero version of woo is that you are going out there for the sake of other people, really um, making them feel good about themselves and good about the event or however you're applying that woo. Think of it as that good politician. The villain version of woo is that person who's really only doing it for selfish gain so that you feel seen, so that you feel important. That's where we don't want to go. So pay attention to that woo. You want to develop the self-control to pause it or turn it down so that you know when to leverage that charisma and when to pull back and let others shine.